Good morning students. Today is Monday. It is May the 11th and today I am assigning a puzzle to you um, about simplifying expressions by adding like terms. Um, this puzzle is very like puzzles you guys have done before. They have one of those corny little questions up at the top and you'll end up with the answer to it by crossing out and circling different answers in this grid down the side. The first thing I suggest you do is either printing out the puzzle if you can, or if you do not have a printer, you will need to write out this grid. I know it's a lot of detail in the one today, so take your time and write it out very carefully so that you don't get anything wrong. Okay, it's in two sections. The top section is the answers for questions one to 12, and the bottom section is the answers for questions 13 through 24. I'm going to do a few of the problems for you just to show you the best way to approach these. Um, I'm going to do problem 9 and problem 12. And then I will do some from the second set at the bottom, um, let's say 15 and 21. So what did I say? I said 9, 12, 15, and 21. Okay, so those are the problems I'm going to do. So let's start with um, showing you number 9. So number 9 is 2B plus 8B plus A plus 6B plus what you want to do here is you want to con combine the terms that are alike. And terms that are alike have the same variable, and they have that variable to the same power. In this particular expression, we don't have any squares or cubes to worry about. So basically what we're doing is we're gathering all the terms that have the variable b together, gathering all the terms that have the variable a together, and gathering all the constant terms together. Constant terms are terms that do not have a variable. This is the way I like to do it. I take the first term and underline it. It has a b, so I'm looking for all the terms that have a b, and I underline them the same way. Then I double underline the next term that is not already underlined. That's an A. Do I have any other A's? No. And then I underline with three lines the constant term, which happens to be the last one I got to. Then you can um, write them all out again in order. So I've gathered all the B's together. Then I have the A term, then I have the 10. After gathering all the Bs together, you can add them. I have 2B, I have 8B, and I have 6B. Think of them as anything that begins with a B, bananas. So I have two bananas, I have eight bananas, and I have six bananas. That means altogether that I have 16 bananas, and then I have an A, and then I have 10. I cannot combine the A with the B because they are unlike terms. They are not like each other. And I cannot combine the 10 with either of them because the 10 doesn't have a variable. This is as simple as the expression gets. So let's look back on the puzzle page at their instructions. It says, cross out the letter next to each correct answer. Okay, so I'm looking for 16B plus A plus 10. Now they have it in a different order, but that's okay. They have A plus 16B plus 10. And it says cross out the letter next to each correct answer. So I'm crossing out the S there. That's not part of my answer. When you finish, the answer to the title question will remain. Okay. So let's do number 12 together. Um, B plus A plus 2B plus 2A plus A plus 1. All right, so I'm going to go along underlining. One underlining the B 
and there's another term with B. It gets one underlined. Two underlines for the A. Any other terms with A get two underlines. And the constant term, sometimes there'll be more than one constant term. It looks like most of these, they've just got one constant term, but that's not always the case. Sometimes there's more than one constant term. I've underlined that three times. So I have B plus 2B plus A plus 2A plus A plus 1. Okay, so I have a banana and I have two more bananas. That means I have three bananas. I have an apple, I have two apples, and I have one more apple. That means I have four apples. And I have the constant one. And again, they cannot be added together any further because they are unlike terms. And now I'm looking on my answer key for 3b plus 4a plus 1. There we go. They have them in alphabetical order actually here in the answer. So they have 4a plus 3b plus 1. So I'm crossing out the letter next to that. Okay, we're going to move on to number 15. Number 15, seven plus four groups of x plus five. Seven plus four x plus 20. So you use the distributive property first and you multiply everything inside the parentheses by the four. So four times X is four X and four times five is 20. You can use these little arrows to show that you're doing the multiplication as you're doing it. Then let's underline like terms. There's a constant term, there's another constant term and there's the X term. 7 plus 20 plus 4x. So the answer is 27 plus 4x, which is the same thing as 4x plus 27. Um, I don't necessarily expect you to write every single line out the way I'm doing it in the puzzle when you're solving this, but the more work that you show, the more accurate you are likely to be. So let's look for this answer, 4x plus 27 right here because it's in the second half of the puzzle so that gets crossed out 4x plus 27 and then the last one that I'm going to demonstrate for you is number 21 9 plus 2 groups of x plus 7 plus 7 groups of y plus 2 all right so the first thing you do is you use the distributive property and you multiply. So I've got nine plus two X plus 14 plus seven Y plus another 14. Single underline on the constant terms, double underline on the X, triple underline on the y. Remember the x and y cannot be added together because they are different variables. They are unlike terms. So 9 plus 14 plus 14 plus 2x plus 7y. Okay, so 14 plus 14 is 28, 37 plus 2x plus 7y and typically they'll put the variables first 2x plus 7y plus 37. And there it is 2x plus 7y plus 37 right there and cross out the letter next to it. So we have done number 9 We've done number 12, we've done number 15, and we've done number 21. All right, I will scan in these notes for you so that you can refer to them while you're solving the puzzle. Also scan in the puzzle, of course, 
and um, you're going to type your answer into formative when you are done. Good luck with this today and have a great week, everybody.